I'm back. I'm stronger than ever, but I'm going to need to be. Hello, my name is Toby Guard, and welcome to the Player Tomb Raider Underworld special. Thanks, Toby. Yes, we felt it only right to give Lara's latest our full attention. We visit developers Crystal Dynamics to find out exactly what they've done to gaming's greatest heroine and how they did it. The Olympic gymnasts who helped bring Lara to life attempt to woo me, as does the real Lara Croft. Hello. Welcome to Croft Manor. Oh, and we answer the question, what does death sound like? That's all in our Tomb Raider Underworld special. The basis for this story was, from the beginning, was to explore some of the Norse mythology. And uh, obviously we worked out what we could do in terms of uh, what, what kind of artifact to go after and what kind of um, pieces from the myths that we could pick on in order to create the story. But also it was important for us to build um, in some of, the, some of the motivations that Lara has, some of the reasons why she goes on these adventures, and try and tie up some of the um, story pieces that explain her past. All right, maybe Avalon is real, but just because some bad woman tells you your, your mother didn't die after all. I mean, look, I, I don't want to seem heartless, but this, this idea of your mom living in some Celtic underworld, it's a, it's a little bit mental, isn't it? I have no illusions that my mother is holding court in some mythical paradise, Alistair. I only want the truth, whatever it may be. The game starts out with Lara's mansion burning and um, that is kind of what draws you in trying to find out why the mansion is on fire. And then it cuts to previously, about a week before, and then she's in the Mediterranean on just one of her normal expeditions and she swims down. So you're scuba diving, you're uh, doing underwater puzzles. She fights an incredible monster down there. I hope it's as blind as it looks. What she finds is uh, Niflheim, which is one of the Norse underworlds. Thor, the Norse god of thunder. Whatever are you doing down here in Niflheim? And she discovers that uh, there's a lot of truth behind the myth uh, of Norse belief in the gods of Thor and Odin. And it sets her on a quest to go find Thor's hammer and uh, all of the other artifacts associated with it. It is the hero's journey the classic legendary journey into the land of the dead to try and find your loved ones. Very early on in pre-production we came up with this philosophy that we call what could Lara do? And the idea was what would you as a player expect Lara to be able to do given her strength, her fearlessness, her reason for living? And by using that guiding star, that gave us the ability to figure out what new moves to give her. We would be able to balance walk on a beam. I, I can balance walk on a beam. You'd think that Lara could do that. Yeah, defo. Anyways, this philosophy led the team to come up with a host of new moves for Lara. She can climb up on top of poles and jump off them. She can free climb on walls with her handholds. She can shimmy along very thin ledges. 
when it comes to uh, combat. She can split up her guns and shoot at multiple targets at the same time. She can generate adrenaline through attacking enemies that she could use to do these uh, adrenaline headshot moves. She also has new weapons. In addition to her usual suite, she now has a tranquilizer gun for people that uh, want to uh, put uh, animals to sleep rather than killing them all. She now has new gear items that she has at her disposal. She's got a sonar map. She has new capabilities to her grapple gun. So by coming up with all of these new abilities, we not only deliver on the expectations of what you would expect Lara to be able to do, but we made the game more intuitive so that people didn't have to memorize a lot of arbitrary game rules about what you could and could not do, where you could do it, where you couldn't do it. But what isn't new is the fact that you'll be doing some good old block shifting to solve puzzles. Well, it wouldn't be Tomb Raider without it. And, as ever, you'll be spending a lot of time trying to figure out just what it is Lara's on about. Incredible. The carvings are clearly similar to early Germanic design, but this is far older than the 5th century, yet, strangely enough, more sophisticated. That's funny, I was thinking that just the other day. To create the animation for the cutscenes, the team rounded up a host of actors and stunt performers and headed to their local motion capture studio. In the director's chair was Lara's original creator, Toby Gard. Let's see. Action. <laughs> Rumour has it that to prepare for this super expensive shoot, Toby roped in anybody and everybody from the team to act out the scenes beforehand in the Crystal Dynamics store cupboard. <laughs> 